Hi and welcome to my updated review on one of the most exciting crypto projects out there right now, Hello Labs. I've been talking about this project for quite some time and I think 2024 could be an insane year for them and they could even become one of the most well-known projects in all of Web3. In this video, I'll give you a quick insight into what the project's about for those that don't know much about them. And then I have an interview with the founder, Paul Caslin, where we get the latest scoop on the upcoming TV show, Killer Whales. If you enjoy this video and are excited about Hello Labs, then please show your excitement by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this from me, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So what is Hello Labs? Quite simply, they're a very exciting project that aims to bring high quality entertainment into the Web3 space. They started out with a video game called Doge Dash back in 2022, and since then have launched more games as well as branching out into television. They currently have two TV shows in production, Killer Whales, which is a Shark Tank style show where Web3 projects pitch their ideas to a panel of Killer Whale judges who then have to decide if they think the idea has legs or not. This show is launching very soon, and believe me when I say that there's going to be a lot of hype around it, as you'll discover later in this video. Their other show is called Crypto Cribs, which is similar to the MTV show Cribs, but with a Web3 twist. With all these things coming together in one place, and with much more to come from Hello Labs in the future, you can perhaps see why I'm so bullish about this project. The Hello Token has performed very, very well over the past six months, but it still has a market cap of only around $78 million at the time of making this video. So who knows what might happen after the show launches and goes mainstream. And now to give you all the latest news on this project and with a deep dive into the exciting new Killer Whale show, here's an interview with Hello Labs founder, Paul Caslin. All right, so I'm joined again by Paul Caslin from Hello Labs. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back onto the channel, Paul. How have you been? I've been good, Jonathan. Really good to be back. Uh, it's been a minute since we last spoke, so there's lots to catch up on, lots of exciting news. Yeah, it has. It's been uh, about a year, actually, since we last spoke, and uh, obviously quite a lot's happened both with, with your project and in the, the crypto space uh, in general. So um, what have you guys been up to? What's the last uh, sort of year looked like for, for Hello I mean, a year in the crypto industry feels like a lifetime in the real world, and so much has happened. So I think since last time we spoke, we I think we just announced Killer Whales. Um, yeah. And then since then, we've added all of the whales there. We've got uh, 11 whales in total. Um, we've shot the show. Uh, and now we're in the exciting point where we're about to release the show, and everyone's going to hopefully love it and really kind of think that it's a big step forward for Hello in the industry itself. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, the Killer Whale show is, I'm I'm super excited by it. I, I love the the kind of similar shows that have gone before it. I'm thinking like Dragon's mm -hmm. Den and uh, is it Shark Tank, I think is the US version. Obviously, this is a similar kind of format, but with a real sort of proper web free twist. So I, I'm really looking forward to that. And, and, and that's really the main reason I wanted to get you on the show. So so tell us a bit about it. What what exactly is Killer Whales and what can viewers expect from the show? So I think, as you've just mentioned there, it's like kind of reminiscence of Shark Tank. I, I think if you if Shark Tank, America's Got Talent, and the crypto industry had a baby, it would be called Killer Whales. So the show, in a nutshell, is projects coming on, pitched into a panel of Killer Whales, and this the whales both sink or swim, whether they think the project has what it takes to be the next big thing, or whether it's going to sink into oblivion and, and disappear. So it's kind of quite cutthroat in a way. It's um, it's quite like edgy seat, dramatic television. And it kind of takes all of those things that we see online with the crypto industry on Twitter and just YouTube and brings it all together into a must-see television show. Yeah, and I think shows like this are really good because obviously the, the idea is that the, 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 the projects are pitching to the sort of panel of judges. But actually, us sat at home, we'll all be judging the projects ourselves um, as well. But you've got a really interesting kind of mix of, of panel uh, judges or, or the actual killer whales, uh, as, as they were known, I suppose. So how did you actually go about uh, deciding who to actually have on the panel? So every great TV show needs a great cast and it needs a cast that has something for everyone. So when you look at the panel of killer whales, the 11 killer whales in total, each one has their own kind of niche that they specialize in, and each one has their own personality. And you as a viewer, it's on you to kind of decide whether you agree with them, whether you disagree, whether who's your favorite. 
and kind of who you don't like uh, their opinion. So it's kind of, we try to be as, as broad as possible with our killer whale panel um, so that everyone was kind of represented. And also this show as it were different from Shark Tank and all of those different derivatives like Dragon's Den is, it's a truly global show from not only the projects that come onto the show, but also the panel of whales as well. They're from all over the world. Um, and I think it really gives the, the show a real like global feel to it. Fantastic. And then for the actual projects themselves that come on to pitch, what exactly is in it mm. for them? So I think the main thing for them is the exposure. Like this is not only going to be kind of a Web3 premiere, but we're also going to have a mainstream kind of Web2 premiere across global streaming platforms. So it's a real opportunity to put their project in the shop window. And as you mentioned, have the people at home kind of decide whether it's something they want to look into more, whether they want to try their product out. And it's kind of, it, it puts the the onus on the viewer as much as it does the actual panel of killer whales on the show. Fantastic. Yeah. And um, you've obviously got a lot of experience producing and directing um, in the past. I mean, you've done an awful lot. You've done, uh, what was it, the uh, MTV VMA Awards. Uh, you've done a lot of uh, music videos. You've worked with some incredible people, including Rihanna, Little Mix, Paul McCartney, Jesse J, and, and many, many more but but how how was this for you? How was it sort of creating your own show, and and what were some of the challenges that you faced uh, creating Killer Whales? Yeah, I think it's um, obviously it was a bit of a leap of faith into kind of creating something from scratch with the team at Hello Labs. I kind of have worked on other shows in the past, but they've already been established. And this was my first taste of kind of creating something from the ground up. But one of the beauties of that is that it allows you to make the show in your own vision and create something that you want to create. And every single step of the process of Killer Whales has been meticulous in, the, in a show that we are proud of and we think is going to kind of change the way people look at this industry. So it's been like obviously very challenging, but I also think it's going to be super rewarding. And I think this is season one is the first step on this journey that we're on at the moment to, to really build the kind of go to first stop on everyone's crypto journey, which will be Killer Whales. Fantastic. And I'm sure a lot of people watching this will be itching to watch the show. So how exactly will people be able to uh, to actually watch the show? So the show premieres February 8th on our very own streaming platform, Hello TV. So you holders of the Hello token are already able to pre-order the show. So if you head over to tv.hello.one, you'll be able to pre purchase the episodes. Uh, we have a deal running at the moment where you can purchase the full season for 20% off. I think the price in dollars value is around twelve ninety nine for the for the season. Okay. Um, so it's a good time to go and pre order the show. So that's the kind of first step is is the Hello TV platform and the show will premiere on February eighth and then drop weekly for the five weeks following that. And then at the end of that, we then have our kind of Web two premiere as we're calling it, which will be on kind of mainstream streaming platforms. So the idea is that we start it with the grassroots kind of crypto community. And then we bring that through. And then by the time we go into the mainstream platforms, we've already got the conversation started and people kind of already talking about killer whales. Okay, great. So this is quite an unusual model. I'm not aware of any TV shows that have actually done this before where they've kind of launched on Web3 and then gone on sort of mainstream afterwards. So what was the thought process behind sort of doing it this way? Well, I think there's a, there's a couple of reasons. I think that the main one is that this is a show by Web3 for Web3. So incentivizing people to buy the Hello token and be able to use the Hello token to watch the show kind of is a great way for people to get involved in Web3, hold a crypto asset, and be able to kind of use that asset to connect their wallet and watch the show. So there's a real incentive on this, on Killer Whales, to kind of watch the show before it hits the mainstream. And if you're so keen to watch the show, it just dangles that carrot in a way to help you kind of purchase your first ever crypto asset and kind of get into Web3. So it's it's almost like a, a gateway in a way. So that's kind of one reason. The other reason as well is we have like this really long marketing campaign strung out over the next few months, which involves all of our whales, kind of all of the kind of major kind of publications in the space. And we wanted to find a way that each week we can drop an episode and that becomes the what everyone's talking about in the space that week. And doing it on mainstream platforms, they often go with a binge watching kind of men mentality where they drop the whole thing at the one time and then it's kind of blinking, you miss it and they're on to the next. Whereas this kind of weekly release on Hello TV, 
allows us to really pace out the marketing and really make sure the conversation of killer whales is in the kind of public persona, like public zeitgeist for the next kind of six, seven weeks. Okay, perfect. So this leads really nicely onto my next question, actually, which was going to be around the sort of marketing aspects of it, because as we know, crypto is kind of all about hype. Um, I think yeah. you've got one of the most hype worthy projects out there. I think it's something that everyone can get on board with. Everyone kind of gets it straight away. Um, and you've also got some fantastic killer whales. They've obviously got big followings, etc. You know, they're all sort of pretty well known already within within like the crypto space. So can you drill down? Can you tell me a little bit more then? How will this work in terms of uh, the marketing side? And will the actual, um, will the killer whales themselves be actively involved? Will they be doing things on like their channel, for example? How will that look for, for the people that are involved in, in the program? Yeah, I mean, the great thing with the show is the killer whales judges are 100% bought into the vision and what we're doing. And they're just waiting to be unleashed. I'd say that is the best way of describing it. Um, a couple of things that I haven't announced yet, but we can talk about openly now is we're going to be doing a pre-show space on X uh, with all of the whales together. Mario obviously is Mr. X. He kind of runs things over there. So he's going to be involved. And then we do a pre-show. And then after every episode, we also do a, a Killer Whales, The Aftermath. So you're going to see a lot of kind of traction on, on Twitter, people talking about the show, good or bad. We wanted that. We want to be part of the conversation. And then the whales themselves will be doing kind of um, interviews with myself or features on the show or releasing exclusive clips. Um, and particularly the likes of Ran, Alcoin Daily, Wendy, Mario, um, they're kind of really got huge followings online and, and they're going to be the ones that are really kind of driving the narrative. And we're hoping that you everywhere you look, it's killer whales to the point where you're almost overwhelmed that what the hell is this show? Uh, I might love or hate it, but I've got to watch it. That's fantastic. And I think I think a lot of people within the crypto space will already have heard of, of the show. Um, if not, it sounds like they're going to hear about it pretty soon. <laughs> anyway, if, if they just follow, you know, any of these uh, these these great influencers. But what about outside of the, the crypto sphere? Is, is there anything happening uh, marketing wise to, to, to bring more people in? Yeah. So as I mentioned previous, we've got the kind of Web3 premiere. And that is going to be based around kind of the crypto community and running spaces, doing interviews, all of that kind of stuff. And then as we kind of build through the coming weeks and we get to the kind of mainstream premiere on March 14th, that's when we kind of do the whole kind of more traditional marketing, I'd say, of billboards, interviews with press, publications that aren't in the crypto space. So it's kind of, we get the best of both worlds in our marketing approach. And I think it's a world's first to do it this way. And I think it's it's the best way of doing it. And it, I think it's going to be a real kind of interesting ride for everyone involved. And so so I might be stood like in a London Underground station, for example, <laughs> and maybe maybe I'll see something pop up for, for Hello. You will actually. Yeah, London Underground is, is, some, is one of the locations that we're working on. So currently the locations we're working on, still a little bit TBD, but I'm pretty confident that they're all going to come through. It would be Los Angeles, New York, London, potentially Dubai. Um, and, and kind of that's a great place to start. So I'm hoping that, you on your kind of daily commute to work are looking around and you're like, what the hell is that killer whales poster? And I think that's when people will start to really appreciate that. This is a show that was fostered and incubated in web three, but then became something that transcended it and became something that you can was in everyone's homes and day-to-day -day lives. And I'm going to try and squeeze a little bit of alpha out of you here. Um, do you mind, or are you able to tell us <laughs> perhaps the streaming service maybe or where, where it might be streamed when it goes mainstream? That's the million dollar question. So with the streaming platforms, our kind of approach at the moment is, and, and our approach to marketing in general in this space is that you can't give everything away at once. So we're focusing on the Web3 launch at the moment. And then once we're through that, we'll then be kind of peeling back the Web2 kind of mainstream streaming platforms as we approach the March 14 date when they drop. And I think that's just kind of something that we've learned in the past in the space is everyone wants alpha and they want it now, but sometimes what they want and what they need are two different things. And I think really kind of spacing this out so that it's kind of a real long-winded slow burn process 
and you never know when the next bit of information is going to drop. I think that's the the kind of best approach to to marketing in Web3. Okay, no, that's fine. I, I understand. I was, I was being a bit cheeky in asking, but it is nice to have uh, more things to look forward to anyway. So I'll probably have watched the show um, through the, the, the actual Hello uh, app first. And then um, it sounds like there might be a good chance that I'll be able to watch it through one of the other mainstream uh, streaming apps. I, you know, I do have quite a lot of them, so there's probably a fair chance that I'll uh, I'll be able to access it through one of those. I think there's some good odds on that you'll be able to to watch it at home as well, if that's the case. Okay, fantastic. Um, okay, so um, Kill Whale Show, obviously, um, coming up very, very shortly. And then what, what's next? What's next for sort of Hello Labs as, as, a, as a bigger brand? What does the, the next 12 months look like? Yeah, so I, I guess, and I've kind of banged this drum a lot over the last years that Killer Whales is the focus and that's what we're focusing on at the moment. But then once season one's out the way, we're obviously straight into pre-production for season two, which already is going to be even bigger and better than what season one was in terms of the whales, the partners, the projects, all of that kind of stuff's already really shaping up really well. And then also, because we've got season one under our belt now, it's going to allow us to kind of expand the Hello ecosystem more. So there's a couple of things that we're working on in the background. Uh, that will add some more token utility uh, and kind of just expand the ecosystem more into our original kind of mandate, which was a kind of Web three entertainment company, rather than just a, sh- a, 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 a rather than just a company that makes killer whales. It will be kind of a bit broader. So yeah, there's there's some announcements to look forward to once we're through the premieres of killer whales about what's coming next for Hello. And you touched on briefly there, actually, more utility for the, the token. Um, so I just wanted to ask, really, you know, if someone doesn't own the token currently, uh, why might they want to 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 purchase the Hello token? I mean, if they don't hold the token already, I, don't, I think they probably need their heads checking. Um, in terms of the utility for the token, um, I think it's the most easy to understand utility in the whole of crypto. So you can use Hello to play our games. We currently have two games that are already released, uh, Doge Dash and Dash of the Dead. People are playing those games every day. A, a lot of people actually make their living off just playing those games. And I like I implore people to go and check them out because I think they're a bit of a sleeping giant in the gaming industry and crypto that we have these two super popular, super playable games that people are making a living off playing every day. So there's that for the token. And then also there's obviously Killer Whales. So you can use your token to either purchase an episode or the full season. Um, to purchase an episode, it's uh, $2.99 worth of Hello tokens. And then to purchase the season, it's $11.99, which is like 20% discount discount at the moment. So it's kind of really simple use cases, really to understand. It's why we're called Hello. And it's kind of our whole mandate is to kind of create something that is like everyone's first step on their crypto journey. And then, as I mentioned uh, previously, in the future, then we're going to be adding some more kind of utility to the token as well, um, as we've kind of laid the foundations now of the TV shows and the games. Okay, fantastic. And when we spoke a year ago, um, the intention was to bring all these things together in, uh, ideally, like a mobile app um, that might be on like Android or, or Apple Store, etc. Is that still the plan to have that sort of app? Yeah, I think in the in the in the future it will be. I think the the kind of slight issue we have at the moment is that there's almost too much. We have two rather large games in terms of their the size for downloads. And then we also have a TV series as well. So we're trying to find like a streamlined way to package everything together to make it really easy, easy for people to use um, the app. And so currently we've kind of decided on this kind of web-based platform for the TV show. And then for the games, they're available in the app stores and they're also available to play online as well. So the, the master plan is to bring it all together into the Hello app. Um, and I, I can't put a timeline on that just yet, but it's something that's still definitely on the table. Okay, great. So something else to look forward to in the future as well. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for uh, for giving us the time today. Uh, telling us more about the Killer Whale Show and what you've got going on at Hello Labs. There's, there's all sorts going on. I can't wait to watch the show. Thank you. You know, as, as part of uh, the Web3 community, I just want to say thanks as well. This is going to put Web3 on the map in, in ways it hasn't been done before. So thank you very much for putting this show together. Can't wait to watch it. And uh, yeah, perhaps come on again in six or 12 months time and we'll we'll see where things are at and uh, uh, we'll go from there. You name a date and the time, Jonathan, and I'll be there. Perfect. All right. Thanks again. Thank nice you. to meet you, Paul. And you, mate. See you soon. Cheers. Bye. 
As you can see, this project is doing something that has never been done before. They're delivering really great entertainment that anyone can enjoy, whilst also shining a light on some of the fantastic innovation that's happening in Web3 right now. Not only do they have a great vision for taking Web3 mainstream, they've also got some of the biggest names in Web3 behind them, plus their first TV show is going to be going mainstream on several huge streaming platforms. If this project doesn't get you excited, then I don't know what will. I hope you enjoyed this updated Hello Labs review. Don't forget, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest on this and many other great projects I've got my eye on, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.